about our favorite place to go eat. <laughs> Not McDonald's. MC. <laughs> Ew. McDonald's. <laughs> you know what now? McDonald's. Can't touch this. Let me tell you. McDonald's came in what well, well, I know McDonald's was was developed by two hippies in California. Oh, Long is that so? Is that so? Yeah, two, oh, two hippie guys. See, I don't do the research. But listen, you know, but first of all, they 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 first of all, they, that was copyright infringement because Parents made our parents made hamburgers from, at uh, home. Com, at, at home from coming to America. No, no, no. MD. No. <laughs> <laughs> so they Didn't stole that. that. And one? anyway, well, they stole a concept that was that that was normal for most people, and then they they make money off of. It. Now, who don't want to go home and make a hamburger? What's so hard about making a damn hamburger and in your Dutch, house? Dutch bread and, and, and it's sloppy, cheaper. Sloppy, sloppy breads. Oh Ew. yeah, and, and you don't know they got mice. Yuck. In their hamburgers, <laughs> you know, mice meat. Don't they don't know. go to the bathroom, so they're touching the food every time. And did you see those? Where they go to the bathroom. Or have bathroom. you seen those videos where the people are spitting and doing all kinds of stuff with your food? See, that made me not want to eat for a while. <laughs> and you know, even in, even in the Netherlands with the, at the McDonald's, you don't get, uh, you know, we, we don't eat, we, we Dutch people, don't eat uh, ketchup. With our fries or her burger or whatever, but they eat mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Well, if you were to watch, what was the name of that movie uh, with with uh, John Travolta? What was the name of that? I don't remember. It was John Travolta. It was what was what's the movie with with the with uh, Uma Thurman? Oh yeah. Whatever it was. Yeah, you know the crazy movie. You know what I'm talking about. And Samuel Jackson. Yeah. Whatever it was. So what was well the, anyway he had supposed to went to to Holland and he oh, was, yeah, yeah, and yeah. he was talking about like saying he was talking about that they, you know that they eat French fries with mayonnaise and yeah. also that they don't have the quarter pound because they don't use they use the metric system so it's called the Royal something I don't remember but no it, and now now you even have in the Netherlands you have it with brown bread because we're kind of like supposed to be healthy people so now you have the brown bread. But you know, you They're don't just even making get a mess out of this. refills with your soda, with you your frister, get... frisdrank. And you have to buy the ketchup out of there. These are the you cheapest You know, I didn't even, I didn't even know that and realized it until I lived in the States for so long. Are they cheap? But that, yeah, that's true. We're cheap. They're cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. They probably charge you for the we bag. Want, you know the funny part? You know what the funny part? You prob no, you, better. you probably know that because we want everything for free. But... Ooh. The Dutch people. Oh yeah, well that's yeah, sure. Yeah, the Dutch people don't so want to pay anything, meat. but then they're meat. charging a lot. You like that the McDonald's. Stuff. Listen, what are you talking? Hey, I, listen I to this. this. What did he say? I'm talking about. Oh. I'm talking about. They don't even want. This is strange. They don't want to give you napkins. <laughs> they have to ask for it. Yeah. No, everywhere you go out and you eat something. And a guy will give you one little oh, yeah, yeah. paper. And that. Yeah. I'm like saying, man, yeah, I yeah. just spent money. Give me a damn napkin so I can wipe my whole face, not just my finger. These people are crazy. <laughs> yeah, when you come with the whole family, then you get a two napkins. Okay, so we were talking about hamburgers. Or we was McDonald's. talking about Mickey D's. Now, it is a phenomenon with Mickey D's, right? What? Uh, about going to... Well, you know what? I, I still remember... That it was a comedian did this. He said, "Yeah, I went into the place to give me a hamburger, and there was this girl standing there with a the water on her nose and saying, can I help you?'" <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. You go in there, and the, the, the cashier's got attitude. What do you want? And you you can't get that. That'll be nine dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> you must say, "God damn, did I come here to have a fight? I came here to get some food." What happened to you last night? You didn't. You what? What's going? You got a miserable life. You know, I told people I said, get a real, get another job. Yeah. Oh, that's what I hate. Yeah. Well, Did that's I really talk about that no, already? That's another topic. Well, that's another man. Yeah, we'll do that. Maybe later. we should stick there and then go back to the McDonald's because <laughs> this part really bothers me. I hate going to a store that I'm patronized. I mean, that I'm that I'm spending my money. Yeah. And the people are treating you badly. That's mm -hmm. almost. How about the stores where you going and there's nobody waiting on you? <laughs> you go to the store, you say, can somebody help me? 
There's nobody there but you and one other person in the back room, and they won't come out. <laughs> but they got cameras waiting for you to steal something. Yeah, then the police yeah. will show up. Yeah. This is crazy, right? Nobody wants to help you. Can you imagine going to a store. Uh, no, this is real. This is a good way to find out if it's a good And it store. used to be a lot different. Everybody, because I, I remember that, like, God, somebody's asking me again. Just leave me alone. Let me look around. But now it's the opposite. Now there's nobody around. Really? Yeah. Oh, but. Yeah. Or they're around with an attitude. What do you want? Get out. <laughs> you got money? No, get out. Yeah. But you remember, but you can tell the store, you can tell a good store when you bring something back. Okay. Right? If you, when you go and you bring something back. <laughs> and they throw no, it back at you. Well, first of all, you know, <laughs> this is the bad part what they did is that they made, they put everything in a package that you have to cut. Oh, yeah. a little plastic yeah. thing. But so you how can you return that? You can't tear it open. No, you, you can't burn it, it open. You yeah. have to cut the thing up. So and now, do you, do you know all those toys that are that are tight with on their legs and on their heads and, and all these little parts? And, you can't figure. And you have even need a screwdriver. That's messed up. And you don't even know. And when you try to put it back in a package, you you can't remember how it went. <laughs> you should stick it in. And tape it up. And then you bring it back to the store and the leg is sticking out of the box. So I can't do anything. And a guy like this said, you, we can't take that back. You not put together well. I said, well, if you put it in a different package, when I play with it for half an hour, I can bring it back in and then get my money back. Yeah. <laughs> you know? When you don't like it or when it's not. Yeah. Okay. How can you try something when it's so? We got to go. Got This is getting too long. Good. Well, we'll talk about McDonald's later. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about it in a few minutes. Goodbye. <laughs>